Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 22nd of December. Snow on Christmas Day. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it looks like the chances are increasing a little bit here this morning. Let's get right to the Skycam shots and uh, talk about it. First off, this morning it's uh, mild and muggy and cloudy. That's the uh, shot coming from the campus of the University of Montevallo in Shelby County. Up north, look at the uh, traffic. A few cars out there on Memorial Parkway at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. And downtown Fayette, nice and quiet on this late December morning. Everybody getting excited about Christmas. Water vapor satellite shot. Look at the mess over California in the southwest. Goodness gracious. Flooding rains, mountain snows to beat the band. And we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, that will be traversing the southern states and setting up potential for a Christmas storm. No doubt there will be a Christmas storm. Who gets rain? Who gets snow? How much? Still very early in the game, to be specific, but we'll... Do the best we can here. We'll look at temperatures this morning. Hey, uh, those are those values are warmer than the average highs for the 22nd of December at 5 o'clock. Mostly low 60s around here. So obviously it's going to be a very mild day today. Radar pretty quiet. We've had a few sprinkles overnight, maybe a sprinkle or two this morning, but nothing beyond that. And we are uh, hoping that we start to see a few rays of sunshine peeking through those clouds this afternoon. And if you're traveling today, there's your watch warning map. The eastern half of the nation, very quiet. All of the action is out west. Again, flash flood watches for places like Las Vegas and San Diego and Los Angeles. And again, winter storm warnings stay in effect for the mountains of uh, Utah and Colorado where the snow this week has been unbelievable. They're measuring terms out there, or snow out there in terms of feet and not inches. All right, we'll check the uh, snow graphic. This is coming off uh, the HPC guys' uh, graphic set. This is valid from uh, Friday morning at 6 o'clock until Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. And they've got the uh, snow probabilities centered over Missouri uh, with nothing here. But again, confidence is increasing. We're going to have some snow Christmas Day. And, the, of course, the question is, can we get enough to accumulate and be the first time it's ever happened on record for Birmingham? Uh Here's the overall QPF chart, and uh, you can see a, a minimum around Memphis. Heavier totals really all around that, almost like a donut. And uh, the exact structure of this thing remains very much in question. And uh, that's why it's very early to make specific uh, forecast of snow accumulation here. We'll look at the latest modeling set. Uh, this is all 06Z stuff. Uh, uh, this is valid at noon today. There's your trough out west down below that. Could be a few sprinkles, mainly over South Alabama, but we'll begin to see a northerly flow today, and uh, temperatures could actually fall into the low and mid-50s, kind of hang around there all day today. And again, maybe we'll see a few peaks of sun by afternoon. Tomorrow should be the nicest day. That should be a sunny day and a uh, cool day uh, with uh, temperatures around 50. In fact, the uh, model numbers keep coming down. The, the GFS is showing 49. The NAM is showing 47 tomorrow. Friday, Christmas Eve, looks dry. You know, the uh, the model trends have clearly been slower, and it now looks like Friday will be a pretty decent day, uh, partly sunny with low and mid-50s. Uh, we've taken out all mention of rain for uh, Friday is the big day will be on Saturday, Christmas Day, December 25th. All right, this is the uh, GFS, and again, you can see you've got the southern branch system that's uh, around Lake Charles and Galveston. And energy coming down from the north, and there's not really any phasing yet. This is noon on Christmas Day, Saturday. And uh, accordingly, there is a weak surface low in the Gulf. And, you know, the, the idea here is that really both the GFS and the European have trended a little drier in recent runs uh, yesterday. And, again, that trend toward drier conditions is still there. Now, all of a sudden, we've got the uh, 540 line, which can be a decent rain-snow line, centered uh, near Birmingham, and just very light snow north of that line, light rain south of that line. The heavier precipitation is down on the Gulf Coast. We'll peek at the uh, low-level thickness values. This is the 1,000 to 850 millibar thickness, and that's almost down to Montgomery. So the confidence is increasing. It will snow some on Christmas Day. 
How much remains to be seen. It, you know, if you take that on, on face value, it wouldn't be much and not really enough to accumulate. But, you know, hang on. Let's look at some other uh, modeling here. Let's look at the uh, NAM. This is at noon on Saturday. And, and again, see the difference. It, it's got the, the better energy to the north uh, with uh, hardly any vorticity down south. And again, it's very similar, but notice how it's generating a lot of snow over Tennessee in southern Kentucky, where the GFS had nothing up there in, in lighter amounts down south. And again, it's got the uh, zero degree line at uh, uh, 5,000 feet well to the south. So again, confidence is definitely increasing it's going to snow here. And we've thought that all along, but it's a question of how much. And, and the NAM and the GFS are saying not much. But you have to go to some of the other models to, to you know, generate a decent amount. We'll look at the uh, European. This is valid uh, Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. And its moisture field is a little more robust. And again, there's surface low in the Gulf. And this is suggesting, that, and again, the 540 line is, you know, well below, I say well below us. It's a little below Birmingham, but still certainly cold enough for snow. And its QPF is spitting out uh, about a tenth of an inch. And that would be about one inch of snow here using the standard conversion ratio. So you can see we're not talking about some major super-duper snowstorm with any of this stuff. But maybe if that would get an inch on the ground, that would, that would do the trick. First time on weather records, we would have accumulating snow on Christmas morning or Christmas Day. Not a lot, an inch or so, but hey, we'll take that. And we'll go to midnight uh, Saturday night. And, boy, and again, we'll stick with the uh, European here. It's got the surface low deepening, and the 540 line pulls all the way down to Dothan. And, and you know, that it's interesting. This would suggest the heavier snow accumulation would actually be maybe in places like Troy and Auburn and Opelika and Eufaula, uh, with snow flakes possible at Mobile and Atmore. Uh, the deeper moisture is clearly down south, and it's all over for us at that point. And finally, we'll look at the Canadian, and uh, this is valid at uh, Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. This is one of the slower models now, and again, its QPF is uh, really between, it would suggest between one half and one inch of rain, mainly north of Birmingham. This model is trended a bit warmer, and again, it's not done well this season, but the, the bottom line is there's actually decent agreement now in all of these. Uh, the precipitation would seem to be light for this part of Alabama. The GFS and the NAM suggesting really nothing more than a dusting, while the European and the Canadian might bring us an inch or so. So, you know, people up north would laugh at all the fuss over an inch of snow, but considering the fact that it's Christmas Day and it's never happened before, that's, that's pretty exciting stuff. But it is very early in the game. All of this could change. Uh, we'd like to be within 48 hours in event of an event to start making those accumulation charts, and we're not quite there yet. We will be later today. Uh, Sunday, back to the GFS, and uh, uh, it's got the surface low way, way south. I mean, uh, you know, previous runs have shown a, a bomb-type thing over the middle Atlantic coast with big snows for Virginia. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. I'd do the weather in Lynchburg and the Tidewater, and, of course, this will greatly affect their forecast. Uh, uh, but, again, it's awfully early. But whatever, Sunday's going to be cold here. Uh, the... Uh, high would be only in the upper 30s if this is right. Uh, Monday would be cold and dry. Tuesday would be cold and dry. Both Monday and Tuesday morning, we could be in the teens. Uh, there's Wednesday of next week, still pretty chilly. There's uh, Thursday a week from uh, tomorrow. Start to moderate a little bit. And uh, look at that trough on New Year's Eve. This is the 31st. Uh, we got just a big southerly flow all across the deep south. That looks mild and showery. Uh, New Year's Day, a deepening storm with an incredible snowstorm, if this is right, for parts of uh, Kansas. And again, maybe some uh, storm-type stuff here, severe weather-type stuff on New Year's Day. And this is pure voodoo. This is going to change. We're going through a pattern change, and accordingly, every operational run will look different. We'll almost guarantee you that. And then on uh, the second, that thing goes negative tilt, and again, that would be concern there for severe weather. Tornado-type outbreak across the uh, uh, deep south. If, and that's a big if. And then on the 3rd, uh, the whole thing is lifting out. And on the 6th, uh, the really cold air is trapped up north. There's the uh, surface chart. And again, uh, 
with the North Atlantic Oscillation trending positive, we would think that uh, that would give us a period where, on average, temperatures would be milder. And again, we'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. If you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.